cloves are super healthy, but did you know that eating too many cloves can actually harm your liver, damage your cells, and even interfere with your medications? You must have seen excessive detox drinks circulating on social media often use unsafe amounts of cloves. So today, we'll uncover the hidden dangers of overusing cloves. Welcome back to The Mind Hunters, where we decode the truth behind natural foods, their health benefits, and the fine line between healing and harm. Let's start with how to consume cloves safely and effectively. Cloves come from the dried flower buds of a tropical evergreen tree. They contain eugenol, a powerful compound responsible for most of cloves' health effects. Eugenol is an exceptional antioxidant. In fact, research shows it's over 30 times stronger than synthetic antioxidants like BHT. That's why cloves are known for fighting inflammation, supporting immunity, improving digestion, and relieving toothaches or sore throats. However, this same eugenol, while beneficial in small doses, can become toxic in excess. And that's where the problem begins. Let's look at what happens when cloves are overused. First up, liver damage. Scientific studies have shown that large amounts of eugenol can overwhelm the liver's detoxification enzymes. When the liver cannot process it effectively, it may lead to hepatic stress or even liver injury. Cases of acute liver failure have been reported from excessive use of clove oil, particularly in children and individuals with pre-existing liver conditions. Next up, blood thinning and bleeding risk. Eugenol also slows down blood clotting. So if you consume clove oil or large amounts of clove powder while taking blood thinners like warfarin, aspirin, or even fish oil supplements, it can increase the risk of internal bleeding or nosebleeds. Next up, cellular and mucosal irritation. Pure clove oil is extremely concentrated. Applying it directly on gums, tongue, or skin can cause burning, irritation, or tissue damage. Always dilute it before use. Cloves may lower blood sugar levels, which is good in moderation, but when overused, especially alongside diabetes medications, they can lead to dangerous hypoglycemia. Now let's talk about what's considered safe and beneficial use, backed by modern science. For general health and digestion, one to two whole cloves per day, either chewed or infused in tea is more than enough. Alternatively, one to four teaspoon of clove powder daily can be used in warm water, herbal tea, or cooking. For toothache or oral health, use one to two drops of diluted clove oil in a carrier oil, like coconut oil. For immunity or cold relief, boil two to three cloves with cinnamon and honey to make a mild warming tea. Avoid clove oil capsules or concentrated extracts unless prescribed. Remember that pregnant or breastfeeding women should be cautious, because high eugenol exposure is not well studied for safety. Now, here are some early signs of overuse. Nausea, stomach cramps or dizziness, unusual bleeding or bruising, and mouth or throat irritation. If any of these occur, stop using cloves immediately and seek medical attention. Cloves are a therapeutic spice, not a daily supplement. Used correctly, cloves can strengthen your immunity, protect your body from oxidative stress, and support oral health. But when overused, their powerful compounds can do the opposite. So the key is simple. Respect the dose. One or two cloves a day can heal. 10 or 20 can harm. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like and share it with someone who loves natural remedies. And subscribe to The Mind Hunters for more evidence-based health videos. Thanks for watching. We wish you good health.